All right, I hope you can see this. Um, this is dried red blood, and it's extremely red, um, oxygenated blood. It could, contains FeO3, which is three oxygens. FeO2 is a very dark purplish blood, blue, or even sometimes black looking, because that has expended its oxygen is heading back up to the veins. So now remember this structure. All right, I showed you the dried blood, but it's just primarily about tendons, and there's emphasis points, and then there's fibers, and there's all kinds of things going on with tendons, and I'm going to show you a little bit about them, because they petrify, and the earth is literally made of tendons. They're everywhere, everywhere. All right, Comet 67B is based around this type of a tendon. It's a tendon emphasis point. When it grows, it starts like this, and it keeps going until the time you get to this point. That's the strap that comes out and attaches to muscles. It's a, a fibrous, bendy little strap, uh, and it's made of a different material than these materials down here. This is made out of extremely uh, spiky plagioclases, and I have some of that to show you. This is red gooey stuff that's all around here because this is so mineralized and spiky that you could your, your body would never tolerate having anything touch up against that it, 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 it and that's what anchors it then coming down from here there's actually like teeth they look just like a, a creature's teeth and I'll show you that in a second all right now check this out this is one of my mud fossils and this is a tendon emphasis point and it you see these that's the spike. You look, those are like just like spikes. They come out, and they're they're hard, mineralized like crazy, and they're all over this the inside of this thing. This is a ball. See this down here? The strap comes down through there and attaches to that ball and anchors it into the muscle, into the um, fleshy and the bone, and that's all eroded away. Now I'm going to show you something because in Australia they use these same things, but they live in them. <laughs> the the tendon emphasis point is upside down, and, and this stuff, you can see it ex excavates away out of here easily because it's that red plagiogate clase material. And, and then what's left over is these spikes that anchor the roof, and I'll show you that in a second. All right, now how cool is this? This is that tendon emphasis point upside down. These are those spikes, and if you go back and look at it, I mean, this is absolutely no question. And they're all over this thing, exactly like they are in the plagioclase. And they painted up here, I don't know how many years ago, many, many years ago, and these are stable. These structures are stable because they're built to anchor somebody, and this was anchored into the ground like this. So there was a creature that was somehow this tendon emphasis was anchored to them and these are gi gigantic creatures and I mean I know this for a fact Giant's Causeway is the same situation it's made out of uh, giant creatures as well and they're all over the earth they're, I mean even Sicker Point which is supposed to be uh, James Hutton's uh, called his unconformity which proves geology that's that's biological it has nothing to do with what he said so there's a lot of things to look at here, but there's a lot of things wrong. By the way, this cave painting, these why you always see these red stuff. Red does never go away. It never goes away because that, that's called red ochre, and that's actually blood. And blood has a, a way of, of I, I believe it's a chelation process that surrounds it with a thing they call ligands, and the blood cells never go bad. And you always see the, the, the crystallization of them, the, the color, red. That's what it is. All right, that's Comet 67P. That's a tendon emphasis point. It's in outer space. And when it starts smoking out there and giving off the coma and shooting out jets, it's shooting out um, gases from solar heating of the f actual flesh. And they are exactly that because they are aminos and polysaccharates or something like that. I don't know if I forget the name, but it's exactly what's coming out of there is what cooks off in me. And the, and the space guys, when they come in from their spacewalk, say their suits smell like steak. It is, it is what it is. And meteors coming in from outer space have veins and arteries. So here's the deal. If I have, I have on YouTube, it's called... Um, Comet 67P, Mysterious Features Discussed. Go see that if you want to see the truth about tendons in space.